You know our next guest from her work on Saturday Night Live, which airs this Saturday on NBC and Peacock with host of Brendan Gleeson. Please welcome to the show, Sarah Sherman, everybody. <laughs> So happy you're here, Sarah. I'm happy to be here too. So you're back in New York to start uh -huh. a second season. I know you did stand up over the summer. Was it different doing stand up after a year on SNL? Yeah, because like uh, people came to my stand up shows being like, "Oh, there's like the girl with brown hair from SNL. I'm gonna go see her do tame, normal, polite stand up," and they were not prepared for a very rude, scary stand up. Yeah. Uh, I'm like up there, like snorting like a warthog, screaming. <laughs> So we see the tamest version of you on SNL. I think so, yeah. <laughs> You've described your style of comedy as body horror comedy. Yeah. Which is a lovely genre that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, and it shouldn't. It's very gross. <laughs> And it's disgusting. I should, I should behave. But the interesting thing about body horror comedy is it would uh, never occur to me that Lauren Michaels would think that's what we need on the show. Now, it's turned out to be a really nice fit. But when you were doing that style of comedy, did you ever think to yourself, oh, man, once SNL sees this, I'm going to be right in that cast? I definitely did not think that doing stand-up shows where I was, like, screaming, like, ah! And, like, you know, that's what it's like. <laughs> You guys are laughing, you love it. And <laughs> I would like do stand-up shows where I'm like screaming and uh, then showing videos of like a paper mache uh, butthole with um, like hamburger helper meat coming out of it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you think that's gross, really? <laughs> Have you seen the gas prices lately? Oh. They're disgusting. You're very political. You've always been very political. Absolutely, Seth. <laughs> But like, you know, doing shows like that, I never would have thought that that would be necessarily a job application for SNL. It has, uh, I think one of the uh, most unique things about your first year is there were things that you did on the show that I don't think anyone uh, before would ever occur to them. You did a wonderful sketch called Meatballs where you had a body where you had singing meatballs. Um, the wonderful Oscar Isaac. Uh, played one of the singing meatballs. This is a sense of, I guess that's where, uh, uh, is that where Oscar's head was? Yeah, yeah. His, his little head went in there. And he, uh, he was on this show and I was talking to him about it and, you know, he gets approached all the time about meatballs, maybe more than anything else he's done. Are you for real? He said it's really been a, a nice piece of feedback for him and uh, it doesn't really bump against any of his other work, his meatball work. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Oscar Isaac, you were great in Star Wars or whatever, but love jazz and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> um, you also had a wonderful uh, sketch where you played Chucky. Uh, this is um, <laughs> this is really the impressive thing because uh, this is they CGI'd your face onto this. But just to give you a sense of how many people have to work to get Chucky, I mean that's a three three team puppet uh, puppeteer. Can you believe this? Like a dumb idea. Like, hey, what if my real head was on a puppet <laughs> Chucky body? Uh, can you guys like go above and beyond to make this happen? Like literally, all these puppeteers, Monkey Boys, shout out. <laughs> um, they're the name of the puppeteers, and like they all have to get uh, keyed out of this like scene because they're like they're making the puppet move and they all have to get like erased in the edit. Like that's amazing. I mean it is the greatest <laughs> thing about SNL, which is dumb ideas are then executed by <laughs> but no genuinely <laughs> I all, we're just you have a dumb idea in the middle of the night and then professionals yeah. have to execute it and every time <laughs> It happens, you just feel so incredibly grateful. It's like amazing. I was like, I can't believe like the best artists in the world are like actively gluing a meatball into my armpit <laughs> that is gonna eventually have Charlie XCX's singing <laughs> face on it. Yeah. Like, it's just like, it's amazing. You, uh, because you were someone who, because of the style of show you were doing, you were doing a ton of your own makeup and because you're also doing videos, uh, a lot of special effects. I mean, you explained your paper mache butthole, which we all, I think, are huge fans of. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but this is uh, what, uh, so you know what I'm about to show here. This is a meat suit? Yeah, it's a meat suit. Okay. Yeah. I, I do want to prepare people. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm Relax. not going to prepare Just take a look. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really, yeah. And this is. This is, I mean, this is uh, DIY. This is all, and that now that does look to me like actual meat. He, and 
And Seth, I hate to break it to you, but it, it truly is, actually. <laughs> Well, because I was like, it, when I was living in Chicago, I'm like, I have 30 bucks. How do I make it look like I've got no skin? Yeah. So, of course, what did I do? I uh, super glued uh, prosciutto and bacon to my face. <laughs> and then uh, the teeth are just like press on nails. <laughs> and uh, the eyeballs are ping pong balls, of course. Yeah. But I was like, how do I make it look like I'm covered, like I'm just gore and I have no skin? So I was like, I'll just glue a bunch of raw meat to me. Yeah. And then now that I like work in like professional, fancy adult settings, people are like, um, yeah, you don't have to like use real raw meat to do that. <laughs> you can just absolutely not do that. And that stank badly. I do, <laughs> I just do like that you were living in Chicago and the solution was meat. Seems very like Chicago. Uh... Totally. And everything in Chicago, a lot of solutions are just go get prosciutto. <laughs> um, you, uh, uh, I'm wondering how, you know, I think one of the coolest things about SNL is it's a show that your parents know when you get the job. Are they happy about uh, this chapter in your life? It's like the best thing that's ever happened to them. <laughs> it's like my bar mitzvah all over again. Like, I think they got a little worried when they saw like the comedy that I was doing it was like, you know, crazy. Uh, I'm popping huge pimples on my face and like cottage cheese is squirting <laughs> out of them. Like, I think they were a little nervous. And then once like I got on SNL, they're like, I guess we're not nervous anymore. <laughs> Where were you when you got the call? Well, actually, funny enough, I swear to God, I was uh, at home on Long Island with my parents and my grandma eating spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> when I got the call <laughs> that I got SNL. And then little did I know, meatballs was going to factor hugely into my <laughs> life. <laughs> I, I like that you got the call and think, oh my God, what am I going to do for my first sketch? And then as a meatball rose towards your mouth. <laughs> well, what's so great about SNL is like when I got the job, I was like, oh God, what am I gonna do on the show? Like the only impression I can do is like Stewie Griffin or something. <laughs> From Family Guy, hilarious <laughs> little guy. <laughs> little baby, big head, whatever. <laughs> I was like, what am I gonna do? And then, um, uh, so I was a little nervous for a second and then all the writers are like so amazing. Like there's this writer, Dan Bulla, who called me and he was like, I have an idea for you. You do like body horror comedy. What if you like were covered in meatballs? And I was like, oh, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Uh, I would say it's more than okay. And I'm so happy you're here. It has just been a delight to watch you on SNL. And I'm especially, especially grateful to have you here with us today. Oh, thank you guys, you. that's Sarah Sherman. <laughs> SNL airs this Saturday on NBC and Peacock with hosts. Brendan Gleeson and musical guest Willow will be right back with more Late Night.